Hello everyone and welcome back. I am finally uploading this setup I did for July 2023, uh, a few days into the month. But uh, as you saw there, I just showed you the masking fluid that I used on this cover page and a few other places to initially try to block out some spaces I wanted to keep white. For July, I am going with um, Moonflowers morning glories and hummingbird moths and as you saw there I went in and I inked in and put some markers down for the flowers and my moth and I'm going down to try to do a gradient background with these purples and um, my card for this month was the two of swords reversed which left me with the idea of stepping out of limbo and instead seeking closure. In the past, when I've done bullet journaling for June and July, I always just feel sort of frustrated. The summery colors that are traditional just don't work for me. Um, and I have tried them at times and just always been sort of disappointed. So this time I decided I was like, purples and blues and sort of night with these white flowers would be appropriate. Um, the actual implementation of this uh, didn't go quite right, which uh, you'll probably see in my final flip through and I do it end up doing a few items off screen. But again, I move from my cover page directly into my monthly overview. And you can see there I'm using two different shades of green. Almost all of the colors I'm using for this setup are Crayola Super Tips and Artist Loft Dupes for the Tombow Dual Brush. Any actual Tombows with reference numbers I'll put in the um, description below instead. I liked the way this gradient over here on the right turned out with the moonflowers and the purples. I think I stretched it just the right amount to make that work. For me, moonflowers always make me think of my great-grandmother. She had this porch set up with these, I don't know, it was, it was a carport, and she had moonflowers growing up the side to make a partial screen between our neighbor's house. And I can just remember as a child in the deep south of the U.S., um, going out at night and the huge flowers feeling so bright and summery. Um, so this just, just felt right to me. Um, and adding in the morning glories, I felt like was a great other balance. Um, both, so morning glories, as if you're not familiar with them, they open in the morning and then as the day goes on, they close. And the moonflowers also are opening in those sort of liminal times. Um, so when I was thinking about the limbo and closure and actually doing things, the idea of these flowers just made sense for me. So anyway, as you're seeing here, I'm going back with my standard cutting out of things. I'm inking in around that July there, once I actually pulled off some of that wax. Adding in a blue tips to my morning glories. We caught a glimpse for a moment there of my uh, goals page and my trackers page while I was talking about my childhood. And now I am doing my mental inventory and my gratitude spread. And so I have the moonflowers on one side and the morning glories on the opposite side to sort of balance each other. In general, this is, I mean, so we have some design tweaks, but these spreads are basically the same for the past several months. And overall, they've been working well for me with a monthly overview a goals page that includes a tracker, a mental inventory, and a gratitude page. Um, I think this is actually going to be the last month that I can fit into this notebook. So when we get to August, it should be in a new setup, and that will certainly be interesting to see. Um, 
I think it's interesting doing this voiceover later and seeing where I feel like I can see the moment that things went wrong where I wish I would have changed something. Um, but you'll see how things end up in the end. Regardless. Um, I'm curious to see from my own perspective how it works having both the purple and the blue for the month instead of a sort of single core color. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to feel consistent enough for me. I don't, does this really impact my overall use of it? Maybe, not so much. I haven't necessarily seen a correlation. But I do find that if I really like the way my month looks, I'm more prone to use it. And if I don't like the way my monthly pages look at, I really don't use them. So um, I did go through and re-ink a lot of this once I put in the marker, as you're seeing here. And some of these flowers, especially the moon flowers, I really regret inking them with such a wide pen. These are the... Um, Sensei, Sakura Sensei pins that I use from time to time, and that width just really didn't work through. All right, so here we are. After I did the final flip through, I realized it was too stark, so I went back through with gouache to blur this, and this really helped me feel better about the situation. Um, ah, like I really love the morning glories of my tarot tracker on the bottom there, and this final page here. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to doing a final flip through with you of this whole notebook later. A blessed July, and we'll be back soon.